My name is Jordan Thompson and I'm a male used panty seller. This is some of my work right here. These are all used. But unfortunately, due to the sexism in our society, I only make one one thousandth of what a woman makes for the same work. These are wore for three or four days. We're conditioned by society to think that buying women's panties is somehow better than buying a male's panties. When you look at articles online featuring panty sellers, there's not a male to be seen. I was ejected from a Facebook group where other used panty sellers were talking about their techniques. They called me a pervert and said this Facebook group is for women only. That's the kind of discrimination that I have to deal with every day. When I told my dad that I wanted to enter the used panty selling game, he looked at me and he said, shut the up. He started laughing. He thought that I was joking. It was a big joke to him that a male could possibly enter this female dominated industry. If I was a woman, would I have got the same reaction? <laughs> and hey, if you truly do believe in equity, you're going to have to buy some used men's underwear. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Zukanaski here of WeAreChange.org. And we have an overwhelming amount of insane news to get into today. As, of course, things are only getting more chaotic in the United States. As it looks like major opposition media is being directly attacked and taken down. We're going to be talking about that as well as some of the larger geopolitical conundrums facing the United States, all on this independent media broadcast. And if you like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, you could get it on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. The clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast was done by the extremely talented Ryan Long. And if you haven't subscribed to his YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? He does a lot of incredible work. We're going to be linking his channel down in the description below so you could find it. As in our modern day and age, I think comedy and humor is more important than ever because it's either that or we cry. And Ryan Long definitely helps us laugh at the modern absurdity of our society where even fashion shows like this are being mainlined and promoted. Look, look at this nonsense. Holy cow. If there ever was an agenda to feminize men, it wouldn't even be this overt. And hey, I don't blame Ryan Long for trying to sell his used underwear as of course times are getting difficult and they're going to get a lot more difficult, especially in the financial sector as things are not really looking that good for the U.S. economy. This is all of course as the last two administrations have been printing money out of thin air, increasing the U.S. money supply, handing out money willy-nilly to all their friends, as a new poll has found that a record 69% of Americans hold negative views about the economy. And yeah, yeah, it's pretty obvious that the purchasing power of your dollar is being absolutely nuked, not just by poor international relations, which we're going to be getting into in a little bit, but, but more specifically because of the financially reckless policies launched not just by the Democrats, but the Republicans as well, that literally highlight the worst of the corporate greed in this country. And whether it's Big Pharma, the military industrial complex, Wall Street, the big banksters, all of them have been getting record amounts of profits while everyone else is uh, pretty much... Screwed. Screwed to the point where even Elon Musk predicts that a financial crisis will happen later this year in the United States. As he explained, the money supply being increased this much will, of course, have a large effect on society. Uh, provided you haven't hit the debt limit, the, the federal government, uh, unlike state governments or city governments uh, or individuals, can simply issue more money. Um, and that's what they did. Um, I mean, as old saying goes, there's no, there's no free lunch. Um, so, uh, if you could just issue massive amounts of money without negative consequences, why don't we just take that to the limit and make everyone a trillionaire? And in Weimar, Germany and Zimbabwe and Venezuela, people are millionaires and billionaires, but uh, um, the currency was devalued because it was printed so much that it absolutely became worthless. Now, you add that to the retail apocalypse happening all across the United States, especially with major stores being looted, with thefts going up dramatically. Half of Chicago's Walmart stores closing while your savings are being robbed through inflation, one of the biggest taxes of them all. You yourself have a very serious problem, especially if you're living in the United States and all of your money is in the bank. Disney is also planning on firing thousands of employees. The tech sector also has seen a lot of them being fired. 
as money-hungry, big bureaucratic Becky states like New York City are literally laying down the groundwork to tax people for eating meat and cheese as a way to, of course, garner more revenue for themselves, as New York City has just announced a plan to start tracking the, quote, carbon footprint of people drinking milk, eating cheese, and meat. These being, of course, the most nutritious foods for individuals and family members that New York City is setting their eyes on in order to tax, regulate, and deny poor people from accessing. Now, why would they want you to not have the most nutritious food available to you? Well, the mayor there is a celebrity-starved vegan who's going along with the World Economic Forum Bill Gates agenda that, in my opinion, is absolutely hell-bent on destroying humanity and putting them on their knees. But don't worry, as the cost of living becomes more unaffordable, as food becomes more expensive, as rent becomes more unattainable, especially in safe neighborhoods, as chaos is raining on down on the streets, as you're being robbed of your savings by inflation... One man will come in and sell you NFTs. Yes, the former president of the United States just finally posted for the first time in two years on Instagram that he is going to be selling you digital trading cards once again. Yes, Donald Trump, NFTs, him posing as Elvis, him being a grill master are all fancy images that, you know, you could screenshot or you could buy for $99.99 each, which of course is going to strongly devalue the original set of NFTs that he released a few months ago when he of course promised a huge major release and big announcement and the announcement was the NFTs. Now, some would say that this is brilliant marketing. Others might say that this is definitely not the most appropriate time for this. Regardless of what you think, I think it's fair to say that this country is in very deep trouble. As the record spending and this larger financial mess that we're in happened in the major part because of the former president of the United States that I do believe does deserve to be criticized for spending too much money that we never had. And before the dollar goes absolutely bust, don't forget to sign up on Luke unfiltered.com our own members area where we get to say and do whatever we want i have a very spicy video coming up that is definitely going to be head spinning that video plus another report all available to you if you are a member on lukeunfiltered.com. Don't worry, no NFT, no trading cards here. Three master classes that you could take, though. A forum to meet like-minded individuals and shorts available to you at cost, meaning barely any profit to us. A shirt of the month, great reduced rates, and of course, in real life meetups that will be happening soon in Miami, Florida. We just did an in real life meetup in Austin. We're going to be doing another one here in Miami, Florida. I'm very much looking forward to that. It's probably going to be one of these Saturdays, probably 5 p.m., probably at a really cool location, as I think it would be cool to start some kind of network and community down here in Miami, Florida where we could actually meet, talk, help each other, be there for each other, and slowly but surely grow this independent media operation. I'm also looking for a co-host, launching a new show, and I'm going to be talking about that plus a lot more all on LukeUncensored.com right after this video, a new report available only for members on LukeUnfiltered.com, and I will see you there right after this broadcast. As of course, we are not done here as there was just a major media bombshell that happened with Fox News settling the Dominion lawsuit for $787.5 million. Yes, you heard that correctly. Fox News has settled with the Dominion Voting Systems Company and has agreed to pay out nearly a billion dollars to them. This settlement stopped a court proceeding which could have seen Rupert Murdoch, Tucker Carlson, taking a stand, being questioned by, of course, the Dominion legal team, as many people are saying that this is a, quote, big step forward towards democracy. And uh, no, 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 the opposite of, of that is actually happening here, as, of course, there have been a huge amount of litigation used against opposition media companies, not just, of course, with independent media, as, of course,
Previous online commentators like Alex Jones have been sued and owe billions of dollars in a court proceeding where he was found retroactively guilty without a trial. And now what's happening to Fox News is also very similar to what's happening with OAN that we're hearing today lost a $10 million defamation battle against Rachel Maddow and MSNBC. Now, whatever you might think of OAN or Fox News or, or Alex Jones, I think we're seeing a trend here that I think is worth paying attention to as, of course, no matter what you think about these personal defamation cases, I think it's fair to say that there definitely has been a deliberate targeting of them against individuals who do criticize the current regime and government in charge. Now, is that just a coincidence? I, I don't think it is. As of course, Alex Jones was warning that he was the canary in the coal mine and what was done to him was going to be done to other media organizations and institutions. And it looks like he was correct on that particular assessment. And what do these lawsuits specifically accomplish? Well, they destroy news organizations and opposition voices to the current party in charge. The current party that also has been weaponizing the justice system, the Department of Justice, the FBI, as a form of political prosecution against their opponents, against activists, against media commentators that have been specifically targeted and attacked with what could only be described as extremely biased prosecutions. Some analysts have said that Fox News is essentially is crippled in some ways after giving out nearly a billion dollars in a settlement. All of this as Dominion is going to continue to sue news networks like Newsmax, Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, and Mike Lindell now. As of course they made claims against this voting company. And with this particular settlement, it looks like that they will be successful going up against these other individuals who of course are politically aligned with the opposition voices in this country. Now you add this to all the district attorneys all throughout the United States, all financed by the same billionaire, also politicizing the justice system. You look at these defamation cases, you look at the DOJ arresting peaceful activists for praying outside of healthcare clinics. I think it's fair to say that we are seeing the politicization of our justice system in a very cruel and aggressive way that is signaling some very dangerous problems to this country. As of course, the problems for Fox News isn't over with this nearly $1 billion settlement. As of course, another voting company, Smartmatic, is also suing Fox News for $2.7 billion after also making some claims after the last election against this voting company. And as an independent media creator that likes to criticize both the Republicans and the Democrats, I'm kind of sitting here visualizing fire all around me saying, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, T totally fine. As more importantly, a lot of these lawsuits, a lot of these settlements set also a chilling effect and have a lot of people censor their ability to actually speak. And whether you agreed with OEN or Fox News or Alex Jones, or even if you totally disagreed with them, I think it's fair to say that there's been a lot of other bigger lies, a lot of other bigger psyops that have directly impacted and hurt the American people that there should be some restitution for. And uh, I don't think there ever will be with the way that things are going in this country. And that right there, in my opinion, is injustice. What do you think? Do you think this is injustice or do you think this is the court working like the court was supposed to work? Let me know down in the comment section below. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys commenting, sharing these videos, and of course, watching until the very end. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org. One more video coming your way later on today on lukeunfiltered.com. See you there right now.